And as folks gather in Canton to recognize a new class of football greats, a local author is taking the moment to recognize a player who tackled something much greater than football. And it all happened right here in Cleveland. Rob Hackford reports. The name Marion Motley isn't unknown in Northeast Ohio. He was one of the greatest running backs. But compared to other icons who broke racial barriers. They don't know the story. Nobody's really told them the story. Motley's story is one that David Lee Morgan Jr. is trying to share more widely. Marion broke the color barrier in pro sports in 1946 with the Cleveland Browns a year before Jackie Robinson. His new book, Breaking Through the Lines, The Marion Motley Story, tells what it was like to be one of four black players who integrated the All-American Football Conference, an all-white league in the Jim Crow era. You know, not only was the opposing team against that team, but they had to battle all that racism and, and angst and hate toward them and still try to play a game that they love. A game that Motley became prolific in, more than his teammate Bill Willis and fellow black athletes Kenny Washington and Woody Strode, Morgan says, has captured in this excerpt from the book. Unable to bring Motley down, defender Harmon Rowe began slugging him in the face. All of that physicality took a toll. Motley was being interviewed when a photographer asked him to smile. Motley said he couldn't because a few of his teeth got knocked out during the game. Morgan says Motley didn't flaunt what he ended up meaning to football. He lived a quiet life and was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1968. But last year, Morgan says, efforts to erect this statue of Motley are what propelled him to write. I would love to see people pick it up and learn some things about it because it's not just a Cleveland book. It's just, just not a Northeast Ohio book. It's a book for everybody. Well, if you are interested in getting a copy of the book, they are available at the Pro Football Hall of Fame's gift shop in Canton, as well as Barnes & Noble and Amazon, a little more accessible there. They will also be a book signing tomorrow from 4 to 6 at Centennial Plaza, where you can meet the author, get yourself a copy mm -hmm. potentially, and enjoy all the events that are going on. Yeah. It's so cool. And, you know, there's so many people in mm -hmm. that Hall of Fame, and you don't necessarily know the story behind each of the names. Mm -hmm. It does pay to do some homework. Yeah, here's a focus on this one and a, a nice connection to Cleveland as well. Yeah, a great story. Rob Hack, we're joining us from our station in Buffalo. Fantastic job. When can you start, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll have to talk back with the, the station in Buffalo, but who knows? Okay. We get a little bit less snow than they do up there, so yeah. there's some mm -hmm. bonuses. Hey, it's my hometown. I love it. Oh. So, uh, yeah, but nice to be with you guys in Cleveland. And you'll be with us throughout the weekend. All right, mm -hmm. thank you, Rob. And we're going to be in Canton all week. Tomorrow night, the Browns, as we said, take on the Jets right here at WKYC for the Hall of Fame game. Then on Saturday, of course, former Brown star Joe Thomas will be enshrined into the Hall of Fame.